How's it going guys? Welcome to the Autism Awareness Channel and as you guys can tell from the title today we are going to be talking about a personal story of mine and how stress really uh, affects my life in a negative way and at the same time there's not much I can do about it so I kind of like have to deal with some coping strategies. I'm going to talk to you about those also. Um, but yeah, let's just hop right into a personal story of mine. So growing up, I didn't have much of an issue with stress. Um, I think it started more in the upperclassmen years of high school, uh, probably because they had to take a college course in high school, which was a lot more work, very advanced work. And um, But, but I, I don't know, I think that kind of like dwindled down like my stress resistance, if that makes sense in a way, because I got so stressed out that I basically, I mean, I, mean, I call it like losing my... Like, like losing my shield um, of like co oh. sorry about that my mic fell out um but kind of just like losing my um my kind of like shield well, well I mean I already sh said that I I don't really know how else to put that but um uh, and then another thing that like really stresses me out is school like every assignment I have gets me stressed. Well, most of them, I mean, some of them are just, like, signing papers or something. <laughs> but um, when it comes to, like, general, and, and it's not even an exam, like, I know college is very stressful, but, like, I'm sure, like, I can almost guarantee that um, it's, I, I have a, a more severe amount of stress than uh, other people in my class, or, or at my school, um, like, like, when it comes to all grades. And, um, I don't, I, I don't have the best grades, uh, like, I'm not the most educated when it comes to grades, um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, um, when it comes to school, I just get stressed out about more things than I should. So the way I, I look at it is when you spend, um, a lot of time in conditions that make you sick, like a lot of exposure to the cold, your immune system drops. Um, so if you experience more things that make you stressed, your your coping mechanisms with stress um, kind of get diminished, if that makes sense. So stress has inc the stress of mine has increased um, more and more and gotten worse and worse over the years. It's at this point where like I get stressed if I, if I'm. Because I, I have to work at a fast food restaurant and we have to have a whole uniform. And if I'm just, in, just missing one piece of uniform, I'm like super stressed throughout the whole day. If I miss an order or if I get it incorrect, I'm stressed the whole day. If my boss yells at me, I get super stressed. It's just like I'm stressed about everything. Um, and it definitely has an exhausting impact. Like, I, it, I, uh, definitely get tired very easily. I have very low energy. Um, that's why I kind of have like that low and slow voice is just cause like I'm definitely exhausted from like the stress. So I don't know if you guys are in the same boat, but like I was diagnosed with anxiety, um, 11 years ago. And if you guys are as well, um, especially if you're autistic, uh, I know a lot of people experience anxiety, <clears throat> um, but I'm going to share with you guys three coping mechanisms that have helped me get through this, and I hope it will help you too, uh, if you're curious. So the first coping mechanism I have is to look at things from, like, a wide perspective, because I, I'm a college kid, I'm not going to be doing a job like that my whole life, um, uh, I I have more like ambitious plans, and and I think like messing and, and, and it's almost like everyone makes mistakes, um, and even like in my professional career, making mistakes won't be a huge deal, um, and I think like at a fast food restaurant, like yeah, m m making mistakes is annoying to the boss, but like at the same time, it's not really. Um, a big deal in the long run. So the second thing I like to think about is like other people in charge of me like to make, uh, I mean, they make mistakes too because, um, my parents, my boss, my teachers, 
my uh, superintendent, my dean, because uh, I go to college, they all make mistakes, and um, they're the and they have stress coping mechanisms too, and and I'm thinking, um, cause cause I'm at like the bottom of the totem pole when it comes to authority, um, so I'm like, if they make mis- if if they make mistakes as well, then I think. Like my my impact on making those mistakes uh, is a lot less than theirs, uh, if that makes any sense. The third coping mechanism I have is um, kind of an obvious one. It's like you you gotta make sure um, like if you're if I'm really stressed out about my mistakes, then what I'm gonna do is uh, try my best to like correct it and not make that mistake again. And um, and kind of perfecting that, well, not perfecting it, but greatly improving on it, um, so I really don't make the same mistake, is um, it is definitely very important when it comes to reducing stress, because if you're stressed out about making mistakes, then you can fix the mistakes. And uh, I, honestly, having that really, pro- really easy problem to fix, um, that's very v- beneficial in me having a coping mechanism for that. Alrighty guys, so that is my uh, story about my experience with stress and my coping mechanisms. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and took a lot away from it. If you did, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video because I have new content, uh, statistics, interviews, personal stories, vlogs uh, that will be coming out very soon. I have a lot of ideas and you guys have a lot to look forward to. So as I said, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in a couple days with another personal story.